So hello, everybody. Uh, we are about to start our webinar really soon. Um, just let's wait for more people to join um, just for a couple of minutes. Um, meanwhile, I will appreciate much if uh, you can uh, write just a couple of words about yourself. Um, about your uh, position in marketing, about uh, maybe the size of your company, like an anything that uh, can help understand uh, what kinds of audience we have now today. It will be really useful for me. Uh, first of all, uh, let me introduce myself. Uh, I'm Diana. Uh, I'm a part of MailTrap marketing team. And uh, MailDrop is an email testing tool, and uh, it is mostly popular among uh, developers and QAs uh, due to its ability to test email sending capabilities, uh, run test uh, automations. Uh, but it also has uh, functionality that is useful for marketers, um, including template checks, uh, spam score, and email clients testing, and also collaborating uh, with uh, different teams. Uh, no worries. I, I won't uh, like promote MailTrap here or focus on it a lot. Uh, I just would like to emphasize uh, like two principles uh, we promote here about email testing. And first uh, of them is that email testing is super important. And actually, this is why I'm here speaking uh, on this topic. And uh, the, the second principle is that uh, we have to perform email testing in a way that our customers don't even know about this. Um, I mean that uh, we don't send like um, emails by mistakes to our customers, test emails and so on. And I'm sure that every one of us have ever received uh, a test email by mistake. And uh, sometimes it's just like a funny thing and you forget about this in two minutes, but uh, there are cases when it can lead to, uh, it can lead to like data breach. And by the way, um, just like a couple of days ago, uh, there is a really funny story, and um, you can see this uh, like uh, leaf uh, Twitter feed. Uh, it's HBO test um, search query. And you will find like a huge conversation. And uh, this is a screenshot, real screenshot that users share. Uh, just maybe about, I don't know how many exactly, but I think that if you bill on people, uh, everyone who had uh, related accounts on HBO Max, yes, this, uh, those guys who um, film movies. Uh, so they received this integration test email on their accounts. And uh, there are like many joke jokes and discussions on Twitter. And people people are supportive. And uh, here is some guy which is writing that as an email marketer, this is the stuff that haunts my not nightmares. Um, so uh, now uh, let's discuss uh, how we can uh, make our emails perfect without sending them to customers before they are ready to go. And uh, now let me just quickly remind you uh, what we are going to discuss today. Uh, so we will start uh, with um, discussing uh, what email testing actually means uh, for success of email marketing campaigns. Uh, then I will quickly describe uh, two email testing approaches. And then, then we will move on to the more practical part of this webinar. Uh, I will explain the testing of uh, tech email aspects. And uh, to wrap up, uh, I will provide you with the list of tools which you can easily integrate into your uh, email marketing campaign flow. So let's start with the meaning of email testing. Uh, as I've already said, uh, we believe that it's super important. And here is, here is why. Um, so uh, when we send any kind of email campaign, we aim at our recipients, receive it, open it, and take desired actions. It can be uh, making purchase, registering to our event, um, using our product in a more efficient way, and so on. And uh, here you can see um, two diagrams um, by HubSpot. 
Uh, they reveal open and click-through rates uh, by industries for email marketing campaign. And the truth is that only a fourth part, only up to 25% of all sent email marketing, uh, marketing emails, uh, they're opened at all. And it means that 75% of emails, they just go to nowhere with our effort and time we invested. And just up to 10% of recipients click our links and clicking links is uh, taking those desired actions. And of course, our goal is to increase these rates and email testing can help you increase them. Let's see how. Email sending is a bit more difficult than it can seem at the first glance. And uh, sometimes uh, it's not taken seriously as it should be. Um, as um, Glock apps, it's uh, another spam testing tool, states on average only half of all emails uh, reach inboxes. So part of them goes to spam and uh, part of them uh, gets never delivered to their recipients for different reasons. And uh, the reason behind this is that um, there is no spam uh, identification criteria for uh, different email clients. So Without testing, you never know uh, whether uh, this or that email client, let's say Gmail or Outlook or Apple Mail, anything, uh, will define your email as a spam or no. Because, uh, of course, we, we, all of us would like to have uh, the list of these criteria. For example, don't include li links, don't include like videos or something like this. But if um, they were public, uh, our inboxes, uh, would be full of uh, messages from Nigerian kings and so on. Um, so to make sure that our emails don't go to spam, we need to test it. Um, and another point uh, that uh, is uh, directly connected to engagement with emails and taking those desired actions I mentioned is that uh, there are no HTML rendering standards for email clients. And it means that um, our email templates that contain images, uh, videos, animations, uh, specific fonts, they can display completely different across email clients. For example, uh, you're open, uh, you sent one to the same message and you open it in Gmail and uh, it has a blocked image. In Apple Mail, it looks perfectly fine. And in Outlook, you receive like completely messed um, message. Um, the reason is that uh, all of these clients, they process your email template in different ways. And by the way, Outlook 2019 still uses Microsoft Word to process email templates. And that's why it's like the most problematic email clients, uh, email clients uh, from all and uh, it has always some rendering issues. And uh, just like to sum up <laughs> what I have already said, uh, why it's so important to test emails. Um, broken emails can ruin your email marketing efforts. And uh, we need to test them to make them delivered, your email campaigns to make delivered, uh, delivered right to recipients inboxes, not to spam uh, folders and uh, to make them uh, display uh, completely as desired. And uh, here is uh, like some thought uh, I've read it uh, somewhere. And uh, now I'm thinking all the time when working with emails about this, that emails uh, are a part of the user experience along with your website or an app. And when you develop your website or app, um, there is a team of people who uh, like working on uh, testing features, uh, testing user experience, and uh, the same approach um, should be uh, for emails. And uh, now let's talk about uh, email testing approaches. And uh, if if I ask you or some uh, big group of marketers. Uh, what does email testing mean for you? Uh, 
I can receive uh, like two groups of response. First, uh, like part of marketers, let's say, they will say that email testing uh, means A-B testing or like split testing when we experiment with email content uh, after we send a campaign to improve its performance, for example, for rep repetitive campaigns. And another part uh, will uh, describe like tech, tech email testing, uh, which have like listed uh, earlier. Um, <clears throat> they will talk about uh, testing deliverability, uh, spam, uh, rendering, and so on. And both of them, both of these groups, they will be right. Uh, split testing and tech ML testing, uh, they, uh, they are created to uh, improve the performance of uh, your mail campaigns. But uh, none of these approaches is self-sufficient. And first of all, we need to start with pre-sending tests. Uh, so to test, like inspect and debug all uh, email aspects before we send them. Uh, so <clears throat> uh, let's talk uh, in more detail about this. So uh, why? Uh, what are these tech email aspects and uh, why we need to pay so much attention to them? First of all, um, you, need, uh, uh, you need adequately set email infrastructure. Email infrastructure is uh, all those SMTP servers uh, domains, IPs, and uh, usually uh, you can um, work with it when you, for example, uh, switch to another email sending provider or like set a completely new integration or would like to send, uh, in, uh, no, let's say you have like several websites and would like to set, uh, send emails from a new one, so from your domain name. And you need, if it's this integration with your email sending provider work, works not correctly. Your emails can be sent at all, or you can receive replies or something like this. If uh, you haven't tested email deliverability and it's poor, your emails will go to spam. And deliverability is not only the uh, word which is difficult to pronounce, it's like a complex uh, thing that includes authentication, uh, sender's reputation and even, even cont email content uh, affects it. Um, if uh, in your email template there is some unsupported HTML and or CSS, your emails won't display correctly in inboxes, uh, which we've discussed uh, a bit earlier as well. Or for example, if there are some like broken links in your content, uh, your customers uh, can have negative experience. For example, your limited offer won't work. Or what is even worse, uh, you send like, like their own um, confirmation or activation email. And neglecting uh, this uh, tech email aspects usually leads uh, to the most common uh, email testing mistakes marketers make. And I've pointed like four uh, like main uh, those mistakes. And before like reading and discussing them, I would like to share my own experience. And uh, I've been working in marketing for over ten years, and uh, I've completed like different roles as a marketer. Uh, and uh, I was a part of like small teams uh, where email marketing was not uh, like a serious response responsibility, uh, sorry. Uh, and uh, around like five years ago, I was working for a software development company and uh, I was sending emails, uh, email newsletters to our customers using our website functionality. Also, I was using some really no name free tool, uh, email sending free tool to send email invitations to conferences and events we held. Uh, and also then we switched to uh, more professional email provide email sending provider. However, uh, our email email test testing flow didn't change. It looked like this. 
so me or our designer, uh, we crafted email template, I prepared content, um, put it into uh, this email sending uh, tool. Uh, and then I send the test to myself, to my personal Gmail account and to my working Outlook account. Then I opened them from desktop and even from my mobile phone. And uh, when I was sure that uh, this email looks fine <clears throat> for me, I sent also it to a couple of my colleagues and asking them to read uh, and uh, check whether there are no mistakes, uh, check the subject line and how it displays. And so when everyone said, OK, it's fine, then we sent it to the white audience. Is it a viable approach? Well, actually, yes. Uh, let's be honest, because uh, I was sure that my emails are sent at all. And uh, I've checked how it looks in like, a couple of popular email clients. And we checked links and so on. Uh, but uh, as a result, at least like 10 to 20% of our event attendees they claim that they have never received our emails, uh, some important notes about, for example, how to get to our new location or after event materials. And some of them really uh, found our messages in spam. And uh, it's not only my experience. Uh, I know like many people who do testing like this still. Uh, even five years ago, we already had like a huge choice of uh, different uh, email sending and testing tools. Uh, I was just, uh, I didn't know about uh, the right approach to testing email. So me and all those people, we made uh, all these uh, common mistakes like carelessly selecting an email sending provider. And it is super important because uh, you use their infrastructure uh, to send your emails and should be it should be reliable. And uh, uh, email sending provider uh, plays like a great role in ensuring deliverability. Also, I was ignoring uh, those tech email aspects like authentication or spam checks. Uh, we were mostly checking email content and just sporadically, like from time to time, testing emails. And the results were not great. Um, this is why uh, now uh, I promote this full cycle email testing. It's not a common term. It's a uh, uh, like name uh, that I really like uh, because uh, what it means? It means... Um, Mm, performing all these types of uh, tests uh, that we discussed. First, uh, you need to run presending checks, including infrastructure, email template with email copy and links, uh, email headers. Uh, email headers are those two from subject line and so on. Uh, email client testing. Also check email deliverability for spam check. Uh, make sure that your domain is not blocked. Um, take care of the email list health. Uh, it's this email validation when you from time to time check your subscribers database, uh, whether all emails are valid, uh, you handle ups and subscribes and so on. And also there can be additional specific checks uh, like specific for exact campaign. And after that, uh, when you made sure that your email campaign looks perfectly fine and uh, is works as designed, and uh, you can send it to your customers, and after some time, you can, uh, if it's a repetitive campaign, for example, uh, you can uh, switch to performance checks, track all those important metrics, uh, including opens, clicks, bounces, and subscribes, and so on and run a b tests to improve its performance and this is like the whole cycle of uh, checking whether your email is fine and uh, how can we actually perform it this looks like many many aspects to test and for example if you have like a small team or not that many resources uh, for email marketing in a perfect world or in uh, like big teams or companies that send a really huge volume of emails. Uh, there is a dedicated team 
uh, that consists of uh, developer, QA, uh, designer, different uh, types of marketers who can collaborate together on crafting these campaigns. But uh, luckily, uh, now we have like a wide choice of tools and uh, most of them uh, offer decent free functionality that can help you. Uh, so now I would like to uh, list uh, some of them and show you some examples. And then I will uh, propose you how you can include them in your uh, like everyday uh, email marketing routine. So let's start from infrastructure testing. Um, <clears throat> As I, as I mentioned, uh, it's not a regular test that marketers uh, would make, but uh, we need to know and remember about this. And uh, if we need to make sure that our connection works uh, fine, uh, we need to make an SMTP, SMTP test. Uh, it's super simple uh, with a tool uh, which is called Warmly. I will show you now. It's a server monitoring tool, but it helps. It has this SMTP test. So um, what you have here, host name. Uh, so it's my uh, like domain name. I have already it's here. It's Mailtrap and uh, enter email address I'm going to use to send uh, emails from this domain. And uh, it's my Gmail with purpose. It's a mistake. Um, the port, if you don't know it, you can put 25. I want to send a test email. Uh, OK, run the test. And you have, uh, you see that uh, something went wrong. And even, of course, you are a marketer and you don't know how uh, SMTP server works, but uh, uh, you can easily share it with your like developer with this link and help you. Uh, so your engineering team, can, engineering team can help you to debug it. So just for you to know about uh, the existence of these tests. Let's get back. OK. And uh, another <clears throat> small but really useful tool is GMAS. In fact, uh, this is uh, some add-on for Gmail that uh, can help make uh, some cold emails from your Gmail. But it has a whole list of uh, free and really useful tools. And uh, this is a screenshot from their website. So uh, you can uh, play with all these tools. They are simple, they are intuitive. So <clears throat> I won't show, won't show them in details now. Um, the second like section is email content checks. And um, here you can see a screenshot and um, when I asked our designer to take a look at my presentation from the visual side, she advised me to replace this image because it looks like mm, quite bad. But uh, this is the reason why it's here. It's a real screenshot uh, from uh, Gmail uh, from my colleague. And uh, this is a promotional email sent by a big retailer, big famous retailer. And uh, they made like, two huge mistakes. First of them was like making a template to consist of one whole image and without even L text. And the second mistake is that they were not testing posted. Looks like they were not testing it at all. Uh, because uh, like the settings of my colleague uh, in his Gmail, they block all like images uh, by default. Uh, so not to make such a mistake, we need to check email template rendering, uh, check all visual elements, images, animations, the video, anything. Uh, read and test email copy, links and buttons, and also subject line and preheader. <clears throat> so the uh, email template rendering tests uh, can be done in uh, in two ways. Um, OK, uh, like the most simple thing that you that you usually do is uh, in your email sending provider, you have a preview option and you can check how your email should look on desktop, on mobile, on different types of devices. But to dive deeper and make sure that it uh, works for like real email clients, uh, you can perform email client testing. And uh, here you have like 
really popular and famous tools such as Litmus, Email on ACID, Email Preview Services, and all of them um, generate previews for a list of email clients you select, and then you need to manually compare them. And so these are great tools. Uh, they are quite pricey, but they offer uh, a wide range of tests except for these uh, previews. All is great, but um, there is one downside uh, which like which is not convenient. And here you can see the real screenshot from email on ACID. Uh, and it shows uh, the previews for uh, one and the same template. And uh, here we can see that obviously something went wrong for some email clients. And uh, to check uh, whether the whole template renders well, we need to click each of these previews one by one, go from top to bottom. And in the end, when we see that something went wrong, and it obviously went, uh, we need to understand uh, what exactly happened. There are no explanation of what's wrong with this or that element. So for, uh, for a list of tasks, uh, this approach uh, works completely fine. Uh, but uh, there is another approach it's like just a little bit more tech savvy, uh, but uh, mostly marketers have at least basic knowledge of HTML or they have someone in their team. Uh, so uh, there is another type of tools uh, that offer you the ready to use uh, email analysis. So they analyze your template for uh, HTML and CSS validity um, for the most popular email clients and provide you with an actionable list of errors for each of them. And this is a screenshot from MailTrap. Uh, and uh, let me like demonstrate to you how it actually works. Uh, I go to Isputnik and uh, I've already prepared some really like custom random template. And uh, by the way, I took it from really good emails and if you don't know about this resource, I uh, advise you to check because it's like a, a huge free collection of different uh, email templates shared by different companies. And uh, for free, you can uh, check and use any of them, like view code. So what I did, I took some random template, I copied this code, uh, entered uh, like here in code editor and here, what I have. So to uh, test uh, it's for like HTML analysis, uh, I can um, send the test email to some address. Uh, so I go to MailTrap. Here is the interface. And here I have like a list of inboxes, like, like in an email client, and I want this uh, email, will test email to be delivered in this inbox. So uh, here I have email address. I copy it, uh, paste it here, hit send, wait for a few seconds. Yeah, message is sent, is sent and I receive it in MailChimp immediately. And I see how it's rendered, it's like in browser. And here I have HTML check. And I see, I know that uh, there are some issues find, found. And uh, I see right away the market support uh, like score. It means that it will be my, uh, my email template will be perfectly displayed in like the majority of email clients, but some of them will have issues. Uh, for example, Yahoo email will have some issues. Outlook, of course. And below I get the list of uh, HTML and CSS elements or rules uh, which uh, work not fine for email clients and the list of email clients and so I can access uh, which is critical or which is not and I can go to uh, click to the line it's a code line in my template I go and I can check it uh, and uh, I can send it right away to a developer and help fix it or to make sure that it's not critical and it will be displayed fine. Uh, so there is another approach. 
let's get back to our presentation. There are some other tools uh, of this kind. And uh, in MailTrap, uh, this feature with the mail address, it's paid. But uh, still, uh, there is some free functionality and uh, other email preview, email analysis tools. Uh, they are also a bit pricey because it's like a complex check. Um, OK, what's next? Uh, the next thing, uh, when you uh, are sure that your email template render is fine, you need to check your email copy uh, to be sure there are no errors, typos, um, and maybe even improve readability. And uh, here, like regular, regular content testing tool can help. Uh, for example, I think everyone uh, knows Grammarly these days. Um, there is like less popular but <clears throat> still useful pro writing aid tool uh, for grammar checks and uh, also they can help you adjust uh, tone and voice and um, this is, is this is a screenshot uh, from Hemingway editor uh, that's uh, also a free uh, a free web application uh, that can help you improve readability of your text. It shows like uh, two complex sentences, passive voice, and so on. And so they are also like easy and in intuitive. So I want to demonstrate them here. And um, the last thing in content uh, checks uh, is subject line and preheader. And uh, really a lot of is said about subject lines about their importance and you know it really well and you can find like all those uh, hundreds of words that you should and you shouldn't uh, use in your uh, subject lines but uh, there is also a preheader uh, which is quite often missed uh, just open your inbox and uh, see that uh, Mm, like below the email sender name and subject line or next to subject line, uh, you will see quite like a random phrase. Uh, but uh, this is those precious like hundreds of symbols you can use to uh, prompt your recipients to open your email. And uh, it's easy to test how it will look. So you even can send, send it to your email or you can use a super easy tool and this is actually a screenshot from i think preheader testing tool so it shows how uh, your uh, email will look in 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 the list uh, will look among other e emails in your recipients inbox on mobile so just don't forget about this and my favorite one, email deliverability tests. Uh, why favorite? Because it's a complex test. And uh, here we recommend using full featured tools. And here is a screenshot from Mail Tester. And uh, I would like to show you how it works. Uh, so uh, to use it, you don't uh, even need to register. Uh, you just need to take this uh, email address, copy it, um, go to your email sending provider, the same as we did. Now we'll send it to another tool. Hit send, wait another couple of seconds. And then we get back to this tool and click check your score. Wow! And uh, I've just reached a limit of free tests. Luckily, okay. <laughs> so sorry, guys. Uh, I've just using it a lot and reached a limit of free test. But in fact, you will see, uh, and this is the same message. Uh, the same message. Oh, sorry. I went wrong. Uh, the same message. So I was tested and I get uh, the same uh, score. And uh, also there was a list uh, of different criteria. Every one of them is clickable. And uh, this tool uh, explains what exactly you need to check, uh, what you can improve. Uh, and uh, I will show on MailTrap example. Uh, it, it will show you like the same uh, spam analysis. Uh, so there will be a list of uh, these uh, elements uh, which can cause some questions about everything's good with our <clears throat> mail. There will be also like uh, 
blacklisting checks for your domain and also some other stuff. Um, and here I list another uh, spam testing tool. It's Glock Apps. It's uh, even more robust. Uh, it's also, it's paid, uh, but it, it has like a really wide range of tests. And in Maltrap, you can also make some uh, spam checks. And I think that's all I wanted to tell to tell you about tools. So. Um, the last but not least, uh, how you can implement them in your email testing workflow. Uh, unfortunately, marketers mainly uh, will use uh, all these tools like manually uh, because uh, when you have uh, a team of developers and QAs and uh, they can help you run uh, automated tests for campaigns that are sent from, let's say, website functionality, but uh, we recommend you just create uh, your custom checklist uh, to list uh, all those uh, checks you need to run to not miss anything and to put here tools you prefer to use up to your choice and you can create such a test list or sorry checklist in a spreadsheet or any project uh, management tools you use uh, and uh, customize it as you want, uh, add comments, maybe even assign, uh, assign tasks right away or use it like in this way. And uh, to wrap up, uh, first of all, uh, email testing is important. Uh, we should perform it for every campaign we launch, uh, not forget about any emails aspect before and after we sent our campaign. And uh, even if we have like limited resources, we have many helpers as simple and complex tools. Uh, you just need to like check and uh, choose uh, those one that are suitable for your needs. Uh, you like the interface or uh, you can afford if it's paid tools. And uh, that's all. And uh, I hope that uh, this information will help you mm, to, mm, to make your email uh, marketing uh, easier and more efficient. And that's all, folks. <laughs> if you have any questions, uh, I think now we have time for them. OK, so give me just a couple of seconds uh, to read your questions. So I will stop sharing. Um, OK, so Maria asks, um, was it possible to get the supporting material after the webinar? Uh, yes, uh, of course. The presentation will be available. And uh, I think that uh, the organizer, uh, organizers will send it uh, to your email uh, really soon after the webinar. Or um, you can also contact me directly. You can uh, easily uh, find me in social media, like, like LinkedIn, Facebook, and uh, we can have a conversation there. Uh. OK, so not, uh, not really many questions. And uh, Dima writes that he also received some broken emails a few weeks ago. Yeah, that's true. All of us uh, receive uh, broken emails. And uh, all of us are people. And even we use the best tools, the best approaches. Uh, we will make those mistakes. But uh, having like a structured approach and having all those tools, uh, it will be like less frequent at least. Um, so I think uh, we're ready to finish our webinar. So if you have like any other questions, you rem remember something or you would like to make some notes or comments. So please uh, feel free to contact, to contact me and uh, you will have yeah, the presentation and uh, supporting materials after the webinar. Thank you so much for joining me today. Good luck.